Hey what's going on you guys, it's Reese from Spencer Reviews and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the PowerShot SX610HS It's a um, nice little compact camera from Canon and apparently this thing is pretty good so I've got it as a new vlogging camera So obviously it's Canon, this one's the black edition, I got the black one It's a 25mm wide lens, 18 by I think optical zoom 20.2 megapixels with a CMOS sensor High sensitivity, it's got a 7.5 centimeter or three inch LCD display. It's got HS system and it records in full 1080 and it also has the Wi-Fi as well. So you can wirelessly transfer stuff to your phone, to other devices via Wi-Fi. On the side here, we have Canon PowerShot. We also have what color it is, which is a black one. On the other side, you get a nice picture of the camera and you've got PowerShot SX610HS. So let's open it up. Start off with the, with the tab there. We open it up, that just folds back out the way. Right in the top there, we have obviously getting started. So if you want to set it up to your computer, if you don't know how, I'm pretty sure Canon will tell you how to download their software or you can just use normal transfer camera software. You've also got the power adapter for the charger. It's also got a QR code on there. We also get the charger itself, which is slightly different to the other Canon chargers that I've had on my cameras. It says charge and when it's full, my other ones just have a light that change color. Sit that to the side. Anything else in the bottom there? No, we'll lift this up. A bit of cardboard to throw away. Here we've got the battery. Now that battery, I don't know if it's the same as the other Canon batteries. Maybe a little bit different. I'll just get one of the other Canon batteries. Here's another Canon battery. It is slightly different, slightly taller and slightly wider, I'd say. Yeah, different mounting points and stuff. So it is a different Canon battery. So if you don't have this camera, it won't work with your other batteries. You get your wrist strap as well. Put that to the side. In this tray here, I think that's just the camera there. And there is nothing else in the box. So now we get the camera. It's wrapped in this nice like styrofoam sort of plastic cover. And here's the camera itself. This is actually a lot bigger. It's a real, it's actually really a real sturdy camera. Fairly weight to it. It's got an alloy body, I'd say. It's not plastic. Screen and everything. Everything looks really good quality. I think it's got a flash. Oh yeah, the flash on the side that pops up. Click that back down. So it's a little trigger on the side here. The face of the camera. So it's. 18 by optical, got optical and then it's got digital as well. It's got a nice little hand grip here on the front of it. So if you're actually gripping the camera like that, you get a nice sturdy feel to it. On the side here, we have a couple of ports. So you've got your HDMI, that is AV out digital. So that's obviously playback or maybe transferring stuff on and off the camera. On the actual controls of the camera, you have control to send it to your mobile or a wireless device. You also have your menu button, you have your display, your flash, your Wi-Fi, your function set button, and obviously your mode. You got your playback button, your record button, and whatever you want to record it in. It's got another one of those grip tabs. So it's, it's actually pretty comfortable in the hand, this camera. Nice small on and off switch on the top of the camera. You got your zoom in and out, you got your mic, which is your audio out, you got your mic in the front here, you've got your little light there for your IR. On the other side, you've just got your button for the flash. On the bottom of the camera, you've got a little grip tab to open, open the battery door. Here you've also got the little thread for a tripod. So we'll open this, open this door up. In there you've got, yep, where your battery goes and obviously your memory card as well so let's put the battery in this thing and we'll fire it up so I've inserted the battery there and these just take a standard like SD card this is the extreme 60 megabytes per second gives you nice crystal clear HD quality that doesn't lag or like pixelate push that down in there and we'll see if it fires up yep 
so it's giving you enough power to fire it up once you just set the date the time and all that sort of stuff so i've gone through and i've mucked around with a couple of the settings we'll go to the menu and it's obviously your standard menu which every canon camera has you can turn turn everything on and off you can go through and switch it from the video format settings you can change the lcd brightness you can put it in eco mode you can tell it when the lens retracts you can flick it over to digital so you can do all the picture settings digital zoom you can do your record settings this is another review or an unboxing that i did I would say that this camera here films in MP4 format because this one that I'm recording on now, which is the 255 HS, it records in a MOV file. So if I take the camera out of the, the card out of this camera and put it in this camera, it won't read it. They record in a different format. But when I record on my 265 HS, this records in MP4 format and it's pretty much the same sort of layout as you see here on the 265 but the 265 is very cheap now in the menu here you've got all your playback settings you can scroll through you change all your settings to your preferences you can stop it so it doesn't make any noise when you go through all the settings and we'll get out of that we'll get out of the playback mode we'll turn the camera on and we'll see what it's like with zoom once it focuses which I don't think it will this zooming is very smooth too. It goes in and out very smooth. Got your record. Recording there. Record it back on itself. So that's the face of the camera there. Nice big lens. Stop that. Now if we go back into playback. So, it seems to be pretty good quality. I'd have to see what it's like in the wind and things along those lines. This screen isn't touch. It's not a touch screen. It's all got to be done through the navigational controls here. Although, it's something we can work around, you know. It's not a real hindrance on the camera. You can obviously change the display settings. What it displays on the screen. You can turn your flash on and off. Uh, obviously, there we are. You've got to flick the flash up. And now it's gone on to red for the battery. But this is overall guys, it looks like a pretty good camera. Now this camera will set you back a pretty penny. I was lucky enough to get this on sale. So I got this for a lot cheaper than what they go for on retail. But retail prices, these things normally go for anywhere from $300 to $400. Sometimes they creep up around the $500 mark. So this pretty much concludes my unboxing and small review on this camera guys. If you have any questions about this camera, feel free to shoot them down in the comments section. I'll try and answer them for you. If you like this video, guys, give it a huge thumbs up. Go ham on it. It means a lot to me. If you would like to check out any of my other unboxings or reviews, feel free to go to my channel. If you like, you can subscribe. And until next time, guys, take care.